It was his idea. Yeah, yeah. it was sort of my idea. So you yeah. voluntarily wanted to go away with your dad? No. No, I just sort of said it in, in casual conversation to one of the, our producers and they ran with it and then it sort of creeps up on you and then it happens and then you're in the Far East with your dad <laughs> <laughs> for like five weeks. It was a bit in between. There was we, a little bit in between. There was missed, quite a lot of... He missed like, going on a gap year mm. because all his friends were, you know, arsing around doing nothing and he was arsing around being a comic. Mm. So he couldn't go away. So they all went away without him. And he's 20... What are you now? You're getting on a bit. 29. Yeah. You're 29? Yeah. Is that a show Miss 29? No, no, real, no, no, real 29. <laughs> Genuine 29. <laughs> so he got to 29 and thought, I never went on a gap year. Let's go now. But so he people... asked all his friends and none of them wanted you're, you're to go. You're making it sound like none of them wanted went... to go with me. I could have <laughs> found <laughs> friends. They were all so Billy no mate. <laughs> so <laughs> to go yeah, away with his dad, right? right? <laughs> yeah. Michael, let me ask you. I mean, it is an unusual thing to, at this stage of your lives, spend that amount of time with your son away together. What did you learn about Jack? And what do you think he learned about you? <laughs> I think I, we, we had a much better time than I thought we'd have, to be oh, honest. Yeah. I, you know, I was a bit sceptical about it. I'm not a great traveller. I don't like foreign food. Mm. Uh, I love foreign people, but I don't like foreign food. The fact that you need to say yeah, that. Because <laughs> you, <laughs> you told me that I had to say that. I didn't tell you that you had to say that. Anyway, I love all the places you went But what did you learn about brilliant. him that you didn't perhaps know or think about him before? We spent quite a lot of time together, didn't mm. we? Five weeks. Yeah, I, he I'm really sure. did throw himself into it a lot more than I thought. I, I genuinely thought it was going to be a bit of a struggle. Was the foreign but, food an issue? Yeah, but he bought a suitcase full of, like, Coleman's mustard no. and Marmite. You did? Yes. You had Hillary true. pack I did. I did. a, a, a suitcase full of... Um, I did. But know. I discovered something He in... took nuts. He took peanuts mm. to Thailand. Like, every dish has nuts. It's like, <laughs> yeah. there's nuts everywhere. You can't get away from peanuts yeah, I know. on food in Thailand. He took, he the only man to take peanuts to Thailand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What um, was that thing called in Cambodia? A ban ban or something? Ban me. Ban me. Mm. I found this thing called ban me and I thought, oh, no way, thank What's you. What's ban me? Would you like a ban me? Oh, no. <laughs> ban me turns out to be a baguette because it's French, you know, Vietnam. Yes. French, right? Yeah. Baguette, ham and cheese baguette, ham and lettuce baguette. Yeah, but that's not the ban I'm me. into the ban me. <laughs> Big time. No, but I? the band me has like spicy things in, and I had to gut it for you and put in gentleman's relish from your yeah. suitcase, oh, yeah. Michael, which doesn't most... really count. It's cause... a sort of role reversal, isn't it? Because that's what parents do for little kids: yeah. is that when they get the yeah. baguette with all exactly. sorts of stuff, they have to yeah. take out the lettuce and the tomato and yeah. make sure yeah. it's just the ham and the cheese. Yeah, that's so sweet. Well, like, never mind the sweet stuff. <laughs> what was the most annoying thing about him after five weeks? I'm going to ask you as well, but I'll ask Michael first. The single oh, most annoying thing about Jack Wilde. I can think of a few, and he's not even my son. <laughs> he's a bit of a show-off. Yeah. I like to keep things, you know, yeah, I'm pretty right I'm with you. Yeah. <gasps> Modesty yeah. should always yeah, prevail. exactly. No showing off. Big ego. Off. Yeah. I think you two no, should No, no, I wouldn't say he's got a big ego, but, <laughs> but he wants particularly sporty things. He loves getting into boats and leaping about. I can't swim. Never have been able to. Absolutely no way. And Jack, what was the most annoying thing about your dad? Uh, just the the worst moment for me was when um, we we actually we'd just arrived in Bangkok and he'd never been on a long haul flight, mm. so he was feeling quite tense and and Aww. so the person at the hotel suggested that he get a massage, mm. so he got the massage, but he'd heard quite a lot of stories about massages in <laughs> in Thailand, so he insisted that I sat in on the massage That's... to make sure that no funny business took place. <laughs> I had to sit and watch my 77-year-old dad get a back rub <laughs> in a hotel room eyeballing this masseuse in case, <laughs> quote, she got carried away. <laughs> It, it was one of the, the most weirdest thing I moments ever imagine. of my life. I was like, what has gone wrong that have... I've ended up in this situation? He hasn't watching told him. you what she looked like, this woman. No, OK. Our DOP who's called Nick Porter, who was brilliant. I know him he, well. He'd had an experience with a, a girl. OK, right. <laughs> oh this is again, goodness. this was another one that we Previous. talked about. You remember what we talked about with Mummy this morning? Yeah. This was another thing that we weren't going to go into. Saying, These you know, were bad This is a moment I have to remind you. It's yeah, a family show. It's a family show. show. This is a family show. Uh, Just let me finish. No, I, we don't... The lady who no, arrived. There is no the lady happy ending to this right. story, Daddy. Right. Right. My grandmother. Oh, stop. You were a showbiz agent. I was. Like, Jim. 
Judy Dench. I, I wondered whether there was a point in your career <laughs> when you thought, I don't want any of my children to go into this business. And what do you think about the fact that Jack has become so famous? Seriously, I didn't want Jack to become an actor mm. because I looked after a lot of actors in 45 years mm. and a lot of those actors, I would say the vast majority of them, never got anywhere. Mm. There were one or two who became quite famous stars. Great, those are the ones you always mention. But what about all the other ones? When there was a possibility that Jack might become an actor, I said, please don't do it. Please don't do it. Be, you'll be, be out of work. You'll get, you know, yeah. maybe something in Crossroads or... <laughs> No, Crossroads. <laughs> Crossroads. <laughs> right. yes. that, would be a, that would be a hard one to get that, a role that in. That medical Baby thing. Psychic. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, that medical thing. Casualty. Emergency ward. Ca uh, yes. Casualty. Casualty. Yeah. 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 One of the corpses in case. Exactly. One of the a corpse. Yes. Or, you know, a junior doctor with one line per episode. Right. That sort of thing. So. Fortunately, you didn't become. And I did. A, I an went actor. for a much safer career, stand-up comedy. Yeah. When he said no stand-up comedy, no I don't know anything no about stand-up comedy. So I said we well, can give that a try and then get a proper job after.